Hi everyone, myself Dr. Shubha, Fertility Specialist at Garbagodi. Today, we shall know regarding frozen embryo transfer, what is the meaning, how is the procedure done, what is the endometrial preparation during the frozen embryo transfer. So, embryo transfer is one of the most important and also final step of IVF procedure. During this frozen embryo transfer, these embryos which has been prepared during the IVF is being transferred into the uterus and then we plan for the things. So how and what are we doing it during the procedure? So the patient is called on second day of her periods to do a scan and also the hormonal blood test. In this, we assess the endometrium lining and also whether to rule out the cysts in the ovary. So once the blood test and the scan has been done, we start hormonal tablets. Tablets can be in the form of oral, vaginal and also gel based or in the local forms. So once these tablets are time based and these been mentioned along with the multivitamin tablets. So once these tablets are being started, again we do a repeat scan a week later. We assess the endometrium lining, pattern and also the vascularity meaning the blood flow, how it is and to know whether the follicles in the ovary is being grown. So once we assess, we may increase the dose of the medications and also chances of doing a mock AT if it is not done prior to the procedure. So in this, after this, once the endometrium is lining has been increased 2-3 to three days later, we again call for the scan. So once the endometrium is ready, meaning if it is more than 8.5 mm per, uh, on the day and also along with the pattern, blood flow, everything is fine enough, we repeat a hormonal test to see if we are good to go for a transfer. So once we are good to go, we start 4-6 to six days of progesterone supplements prior to the transfer. So the patient is explained about the procedure. If it is day 3 or the cleavage stage transfer, it would be on day 3. If it is blastocyst transfer, it would be on day 5. On the day of procedure, we call the patient and also inform that the procedure would be uh, usually not under anesthesia. 99% would be not under anesthesia. 1-2% to 2 chances people being anxious or if the track of the endometrium is not good enough, so then we may require anesthesia. The procedure would be done under the ultrasound guided and also the bladder will be full. That means the patient will be holding the urine. So here we transfer the embryos in the OT procedure and also which has been attached to the embryo lab. Once the embryos are placed into the uterus, we mention the medications which has to be taken along after the procedure and also the injections. So what are the do's and don'ts? during the procedure. Do's 1. Take medications at proper time. 2. Do not take bed rest. 3. And have a positive thought but not in high hope. But have a positive thought and also please be peaceful at any moment and also follow your normal activity. Avoid intercourse and also strenuous activity or physical activity or jumping and don't be in negative thoughts. Avoid people who speak on all this on negative thoughts. Hope this video is helpful for you. Please subscribe to this channel for more information on fertility. Thank you.